Hey guys, what is going on here? And in this video, I'm going to be teaching you uh, pretty much as well as I know how to make a Minecraft server. And this is for 1.1, so that's pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool. And so, all you want to do to start off is download the files. What you're going to be needing is obviously your, um, uh, geez, I can't think, uh, your bucket file. Then you're going to need your start command and your minecraft underscore server dot jar. Uh, let me show you guys real quick what does my server look like. So let's see. Okay. So this is my server right now, which I'm running on. So I have my craft bucket. And I'll have a download link for this uh, the stuff. So I have my craft bucket. And I have all my other junk in here and of course I have my plugins and everything and I'll teach you guys how to install all these in another uh, video but what you want is you have to have your start dot, uh, start dot command and you can download that and I'll post a link and everything and you want to have your properties so go ahead and start off by making a folder I'm gonna name this uh, test one and just drag and drop these folders or these files in your folder. Uh, open it up. All you want to do now is open up terminal. Uh, you can spotlight it. Just type in terminal and it should pop up. Of course, if you spell it right, that helps. Then you can just click on it. But here we go. Now I want you to type in chmod, and that's uh, uh, chmod spacebar once and do not copy and paste this or else it'll mess up so chmod spacebar a plus x space and then drag your start dot command into terminal click enter and then you're done don't mess with that anymore so you can now exit out of terminal. Go ahead and open up your start.command. And it's going to probably give you a lot of errors just to start off with. Um, then I'll start making the world and all that stuff. But um, as you can see, the files here are now loading up. So that's all good. Um, it's just making the, uh, the spawn area. And now you can see I have banded IPs, banded players, whitelist, um, ops, and a bunch of stuff like that. And of course you can see my world, my uh, world nether, and the world the end. And of course the plugins folder, which is one of the most important things in here, because that's what you can use to expand basically your server. So now that this is started up, I'm going to go ahead and go into the properties and now once you're in your properties what you want to do is go ahead and go where it says server IP oh I'm sorry guys I don't know what I just moved but that's not good um, I think that's okay I'm just gonna delete that who knows we'll see what happens later okay so here's your server dot properties it's like really okay um, so you'll see your server IP now for port forwarding which it's very comp uh, very hard to do um, it's it's pretty much a pain in the butt if you don't use port map but my router wasn't configured right for it whatever so we're just gonna be using Hamachi for this and what you want to do is go ahead and I was just seeing other people's uh, whatever. I, was not actually, I don't know actually not how to do it. I know how to do it. I've done this for a while. But uh, I wanted to see there. Okay, whatever. Um, so here's uh, logging me in. I'll post a link in the uh, description. Now you want to make sure you download the, the unmanaged version. Now what this is it's basically the free version. You don't want to pay for this or make an account. That's just a bunch of things. Bool. Uh, so it's download the unmanaged version and you're gonna have to check this here then click download once you download it you're gonna have to start it up and everything 
And then once you've done that, you want to uh, just open it up. And then I have all my stuff here. You just want to create a new what uh, network. So you can name this whatever you want, really. Um, obviously, I've named mine iSuperior um, in your password. You don't have to have a password, actually. And that's probably the best for Minecraft server. But you can do 1, 2, 3, or whatever. After that, this is your IP, how to join your server. If you want to play on my server, uh, you're going to need this IP to play with it. And you're going to have to join my iSuperior ones. But, um, so this is how you join your game. So if I start up Minecraft here and log in, oops, not that, my bad. Oh, jeez. Okay, so log in here and it's a mess. Jeez. Um, okay. It's so logged in here. Um, as you can see, my server is running. So, enjoy your stay real, real nice. Click join. Now, as you can see down here, it's going to pop up saying iSuperior Reviews and the IP address of this up here. My, my um, IP up here. And that is basically, uh, since it's me, it's going to be different for everybody. But since that's me, then that's going to be that. But, uh. So yeah, so I'm pretty sure I think I went over everything. Uh, let's see, what else can I teach you? Uh, make yourself op. You can either open up the ops folder, do it more easily. You can just type in op, and then the person's uh, name, and then that will op them. So it's pretty simple. Uh, stop your server. Just type in stop simply. Do not exit out. You're just going to screw up everything. It's a real big pain if you do that. Uh, you don't want to just exit out. Make sure you type stop in. Stop. Make sure you type that in. Then you can exit out. But, uh, okay, so let's say you want to change uh, online mode to false. So if you haven't bought the game and you're running a fake version, change that to false. I'm just going to have it on, uh, tr not a fake version, guys. I mean, like a uh, non-purchased version, like you downloaded it. Then uh, just change that to false, and then you can run a cracked version of it. So as you can see, uh, it's just a bunch of stuff you can mess with here. I'd leave the port by itself, unless you're port 14. Just don't mess with that. Um, allow flight. Uh, it will basically kick you if you have the zombies mob pack or whatever um allow another i mean game mode with uh this is doing this whenever you join the game if you have this to one it's gonna um automatically spawn everybody with creative mode and my more of a survival server so i'm just gonna keep that to zero you know it's your opinion totally your max players pretty simple obviously the max players it can play on the server at once and uh, spawn mobs or monsters, not really mobs because that's animals, but uh, you can mess with both of those. So, of course, your viewing distance, which is how far like the fog is around. Um, but yeah, that's basically that. Let's see what else I have. I think that's about it. Uh, in the next video, I'll be showing you how to install plugins. And some of these can be extremely easy. Some of those can be pretty hard. Um, but, yes, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's uh, pretty easy. If you probably, you might probably have a question. If you do, go ahead and just leave me a comment. And if you did like this video, I'm sorry if you didn't. I really hope you like it. Um, but if you didn't like it, post a comment saying what you didn't like. I have a question and then go ahead and click the dislike button that really does help me out when everybody just dislikes this video I'm joking don't do that just click the like button first okay anyway i'll see you guys later have a good day and um, i'm still trying to think of a saying i can say